step out for a moment. It's not easy, see, sharing this thing a self-respecting male should never ever share. In fact, it's incredibly hard, which explains the pause between the pages. You'd be surprised how long that pause was, actually. It was five years. Between this page and the one before, five years passed and I stepped out for all that time. What you didn't see during that pause is how bad I felt, or rather how little I felt of how bad it felt. How in pain I was without feeling it. How low to the ground I had sunken. How deeply pain can be buried. I am trembling now, just thinking about telling you. Really, and this is me, John speaking. I don't tremble, I run, I win. I use a stick to smack a very hard ball more than 100 kilometers through the air. In pictures of me, you can see mud, sweat, blood, stringy muscles, wild hair. I travel around the world speaking to hundreds, maybe thousands of people. I race over mountains and through valleys with almost nothing on my feet. Easy, all of it, but shit. Telling you this thing I'm going to now, that's way too risky and way too hard. Oh wait, no, maybe that's it, that's the problem. It's not hard actually. It's not fucking hard at all. It, that is, that is it being the third person singular neuter pronoun in English. It being my penis. Yes, I did just say penis. If you haven't thought about it before, some synonyms for penis include lut, peel, dick, winky, cock, rod, weenie, rusty, trombone, pecker, pink tractor beam, woody, love stick, wanker, willy, Sir Edmund Spillery. I just made, up, made that up to be funny, which is one of the ways I avoid talking about these certain things in life you just never ever share, such as the one I'm going to share now in one sentence. One short, nearly absent, nearly tear-stained sentence. The one down there. I am having erection difficulties. Your story will inspire other people to speak and to find gentleness and peace within themselves and let the healing begin. And so Feel, Feel For Real is also about unearthing creativity because we need every single one of us to create something that hasn't been seen before, that hasn't been felt. We need creativity to rise. And um, that's what Hard On Karma and Yes, the name was inspired by the thing, but it's also we want to support artistic creations that are going to support and change things that are hard in our collective karma. At the moment when we look around, we are, we are creating a karma that is tough for us. We are creating a world that it's not easy and we have to change that. And we can only change that through creation, through doing things. So Hard on Karma Creations is not just for writers, but it's also for artists, for poets, for musicians. We want to give the, the, the support structure, not only in terms of the process, like we've gone through like the editing, publishing, designing, and we've got a whole team of people, but we also want to support the creative human because the creative human, like we can burn ourselves out. We can burn ourselves out and we have to make sure that we can look after ourselves because the world needs us.